Bonita, Chrysler Cymru. More specifically, welcome to set of traffic lights just outside Bangor train station. I'm going to try a little experiment. You often see some pretty interesting photos of vehicles parked in a particular position near the base of um, the Manai suspension bridge. Creates for quite a nice shot normally. Now, I don't know. I know how to get roughly to the right area, but I don't know if it's going to be possible. So I thought on my way around here, I'll go and have a quick look and see if we can find. Let's get rid of this visor for a minute. See if we can find a way to, to um, do it. I sort of know roughly where I'm going, so it is an experiment. If it doesn't work, and you'll probably still see me making a complete and utter arse of myself, um, but we'll give it a go anyway, as I say. Now this is the part of Bangor which has got a lot of students in it, and um, we're up near the university buildings. So uh, just have a quick run through, won't do any harm. And it's just an opportunity to show you something different while I'm out and about today. I had to go out to go and collect um, an order that I'd placed it was available for click and collect. I've had to go out to uh, collect it, only to find that while I've been out, they've had an email telling me that um, their information was wrong, what they thought was in stock isn't in stock, and I can't collect it. So I've had a bit of a wasted journey, really. So uh, I had to bring the bike out anyway to uh, warm the chain up so I could get some chain lube really sunk in nicely and um, so I've not really lost anything apart from the feeling in my fingers and my toes etc etc but uh, there you go anyway while I'm riding um, talking of feelings in your fingers and toes I've been meaning to do this for quite a while um, and when I say quite a while I'm talking about several years I never got around to it. When I worked in Norfolk, and I was out and about quite a lot, um, used to often see a factory called Sealskins. And Sealskins make waterproof socks and gloves. And I never did buy any waterproof socks. I did actually have, at some stage, some Sealskin gloves. They weren't the top of the range ones. They were the cheapest ones they did. And they were very good. And I lost them. Um, that's not the point. Uh, the point is, I had uh, never bought the socks. And I always meant to do it. So this year, I've got round to it. And I have finally bought some socks. And I have to say, they are waterproof. Now, these ones are meant for the winter. Uh, they said extreme weather. I've only got one pair of socks on. I've got no heated socks. The temperature is cold and my feet are really comfy. I don't have that feeling of having 85 layers of um, socks on. They're about 30, 30 odd quid basically to buy here in the UK. Right, so we're now at Ennis Moor and here we go over the Minnow Bridge Suspension Bridge. It's lit up at night, it's not bad actually to go see at night. And we look left, we can see the uh, other bridge I've done videos about in the past. We'll be coming back over this bridge in a minute. So if you want to try and get a shot, um, I believe this is the uh, best way to do it. 
Uh, I could be proved wrong, but we'll give it a go. Uh, so we're coming to uh, Ellis Morn. That's the Bridge Tavern. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn left here at the Anglesey Arms. Okay, now, it doesn't look like there's a road here, but actually there is. And we are going to go down. Or as the mighty Quo said, deeper and down. Sorry, I couldn't resist it. And here we are. My first stop. That's magnificent, isn't it? That is the Menai Straits. One of the most dangerous stretches of water in the world. Admiral Lord Nelson said that if you could navigate that, you could navigate basically anywhere. Me? I'm not so sure. Okay, so we come down here. Let's just get out of the way, there's a car behind me. Not quite sure what they're doing then, it's like they're doing some sort of exercise, isn't it? Tell you all about that later. Right, let's get this done. Yeah, that brown building is where the Beatles stayed with one of their uh, gurus when they were into mysticism, etc. etc. It's now owned by um, the university, I believe. And uh, my understanding, and I could be wrong, so don't quote me, is that they distanced themselves from him after learning that he was um, not quite what they believed. And that a lot of his preaching involved um, him gaining... Um, What can we say? <sighs> Sexual favours from young ladies, let's put it that way. Now, this is a bit dodgy here because I can't really see what I'm doing. But we're all right. Oh, man doing his golf. Dear Branda. What a stunning view. I'm sure you'd agree. As industrial structures go, bridges are possibly of the best. I do talk some rubbish sometimes, don't I? But you know what I mean.
There we go. This is Menai Bridge Village. Okay, so we're having a lovely time around here. This is uh, Menai Bridge Village. Ooh, he's having to stop. That's one blue building, isn't it? That's impressive. It's a strong look. Right, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to cut to a voiceover hopefully and I'll give you um, a few bits of information about this bridge. Try and sound all professional. That'll be a day. The bridge was opened on the 30th January 1826 to provide a physical link between Parliament in London uh, up through the Midlands, into Wales, up to Anglesey and Holyhead, so they could again get the ferry across to Ireland, which from 1800 was part of the UK. Uh, it's a very important link, and always has been. It was originally a toll bridge, it's now free to cross. It's 100 feet above sea level, so that would have enabled the tall ships in the day to have been able to sail underneath without any problems. Obviously today that's not necessary. Don't forget Telford also did a lot of other engineering works in the 19th century and um, we've actually looked at the uh, Ogwen Valley and we've seen the main A5 through there, part of the same major scheme really. Well, I hope you found that a, um, an interesting little trip. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.